Welcome back to the Working Smarter, Not Harder series. In our previous segment, we talked about needing to benchmark current ways of working, making daily decisions based on vision mission statements, having a priority list with only five items on it, and repurposing meetings. The last step to working smarter is to understand if what you're doing is value added or non-value added. So what's value added? It's an activity that transformed and or shapes for the first time material or customer information to meet the customer requirements. This may sound easy, but it's not. Most activities conducted to meet customer requirements are comprised of only 15 to 20% of value added activities. This leaves 80 to 85% of those activities being non-value added. So what is non-value added? Those activities that take time or resources but do not directly add to customer requirements. Have you ever worked on an activity at work that wasn't contributing to anything specific and felt more like a make work project? That is non-value added. These non-value activities don't make things better. They make them worse, more complex, and cause you to become frustrated and wonder how anything gets done. If the customer knew about what went into making their product or creating their service, they would not pay for non-value added activities. So the question becomes, why are we even doing them? Why are we adding more unnecessary layers to a process instead of being simple and streamlined and only working on items that are value added? Do we really want to work harder? The answer is no. This is why you're watching this series. Stop the madness of running on the hamster wheel. Focus on truly understanding your business, where you want it to go, eliminate activities that don't add value, and restructure your process. By implementing these changes, you will see how quickly you start to work smarter and will wonder why you didn't try this any sooner.